Osteoporosis is not a calcium deficiency problem. So many people have in their mind that if I have osteoporosis, I need to start drinking a lot of milk, start taking calcium. Um, so they start taking like 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate every day, expecting their osteoporosis to magically go away. Well, there's some very interesting data that talks about calcium supplementation not only not helping you with osteoporosis or reducing the refractures from osteoporosis, but increasing the risk for heart attacks and even stroke. And I'm going to put some links down below. One study talked about if you took 500 milligrams of calcium every day, it potentially could increase the risk of heart attacks by 30% and risk of getting a stroke by 20%. Now, in a review from 2018, Using the routine uh, use of calcium and vitamin D did not reduce the risk of osteoporotic fractures, but it did increase the risk of kidney stones. Now, the thing about calcium is that it's very, very tightly regulated. So if you get too much calcium, it becomes very, very toxic, very similar to too much iron or too much copper versus other minerals like magnesium or potassium. You can get a lot of that and your body will get rid of it, but not calcium. Too much calcium is very toxic to your cells. And if you look at uh, certain health conditions as people get older, uh, they're just filling up with toxic calcium, C extra calcium that lodges in their arteries, in the joints. 30% of the population in the US has calcification in the arteries. And there's a really good test uh, that you can take. I'll put a link down below and it's called coronary artery calcification test. So that's a very, very good test to predict overall mortality. Too much calcium could lead to all sorts of problems. There's one condition I wanna make you aware of, milk alkali syndrome. This is a condition where the person is consuming too much calcium, and it could be from drinking too much milk or taking an antacid. Here are the side effects. Kidney failure, death, psychosis, confusion, dizziness, poor appetite, and the list goes on and on and on. So what I recommend is you get your calcium from your food as much as possible and never take calcium carbonate because your body has a heck of a time absorbing that. Osteoporosis is a severe loss of bone mass and density. And bone is made from protein, minerals, and calcium as well. It's not just calcium, so it's the whole package. Osteopenia is a lesser version of that. And then osteomalacia is where the bones become soft. And in a child, it's called rickets. And this is a vitamin D deficiency. What's even more important than calcium is your vitamin D level, is your stress level. Too much chronic stress or taking steroids, prednisone, for example, will destroy the bones. Um, postmenopausal women who go through a lot of stress and go through a lot of menopause with adrenal stress because now the adrenals have to back up the ovaries um, sometimes develop osteoporosis from a combination of higher levels of cortisol and lower levels of estrogen. So that can cause a loss of bone. Also, if you have digestive issues, malabsorption um, can create a problem usually because you're not able to absorb vitamin D, and then you can't absorb calcium. Vitamin D has a purpose of increasing calcium absorption by 20 times. So without vitamin D, you would have to consume 20 times the quantity of calcium. That doesn't make sense. Vitamin K2 is another vitamin that is ignored. This is like vitally important. Vitamin K2 has a huge purpose of making your bones very, very strong and solid to keep the calcium in the bone and keep it out of the arteries and the other soft tissues. So this right here is probably one of the most important factors in dealing with someone with osteoporosis. The other thing that's been proven is that regular exercise can greatly reduce the risk of osteoporosis. You wanna keep your stress low, make sure you get a lot of sun, or you can take vitamin D3, K2, Eat very healthy so you can get the minerals from the food. I mean, one good source of calcium is leafy greens. Another source is some high quality grass-fed organic cheese. So in this video, I just wanted to increase your awareness that osteoporosis is not just a calcium deficiency. It's much more than that. 
And I don't recommend taking high doses of what they normally recommend, calcium carbonate, because of this problem right here, which I'll put some links down below. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.